Hello everyone, if you want to make data-driven decisions by providing a balanced view of various aspects of business and ensure long-term sustainability, then creating a balanced scorecard in Excel is the best option for you. It can be used for process improvement, innovation and learning, decision-making and supply chain management. So, this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several steps on how to create a balanced scorecard in Excel. So let's talk about what is a balanced scorecard. The balanced scorecard system is actually a frequently used framework in the sector of organizational management. Every company must have to set a goal and plan successfully in order to achieve that goal. So managers need to track the critical issues of the organization to develop strategic performance. The monetization of strategic initiatives actions, key performance and time frames for implementation is highly recommended to achieve this goal. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a balanced scorecard similar to scorecard we're showing on the screen. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. At first, we have the number of the serial, strategic measurement, weight, the predetermined 50 points, 100 points, actual, score, fulfillment, and weighted score. Now, we need to go for the strategic measurements. So, in this case, we have four strategic measurements, transportation, warehousing, inventory management, order processing. So, now we need to assign the percentage of weightage here. At first, the transportation will have 20% in our scenario. Next, warehouse will have 25%. In case of inventory management, we have 40% and order processing have 15%. These are random values for our datasheet. You can easily change this arbitrary datasheet according to your wish. But you need to remember that no matter what, the overall performance of these four strategic measurements must have the 100% value. So let's check out whether they are 100% or not. Let's use the sum function to add all the values. Select the D5, then go for D9, then go for D12, and at last select the order processing of D15. Press the enter button and see whether it is 100% or not. So I've got our perfect result, but now we want to get the dividation also. So we have also divided the transportation in three sectors damage, goods, delivered on-time delivery and average cost delivery. In case of warehousing, inventory management, order processing have also marked the dividations here. Now we need to go and assign the individual score for each and every dividation. Suppose in case of damage good delivery, we have 25% next as 50 points will get the 4% and as 100 points will get 2%. Now to get the actual value we will insert the 2% which is also a random value from our datasheet. Remember that you can also use your compound datasheet here according to your wish. Now you need to go for the next value which is 55%, 94%, 98%, 100%, 100%, 100%. And lastly, 95%. Here, we have assigned all the values. So, we need to cover up all the values similar to what we have done in two columns. After fulfilling every value, we will find this data sheet like this. You need to remember that we have inserted the values according to our wish. It is totally arbitrary, so you can easily change the values where you need to change. But now, we need to determine the score and for that, we'll need the help of a formula. So at first, we need to go for the H6 cell. We'll insert the equal sign and here, we'll go for the parenthesis. And at first, we'll go for the G6 cell and then use the multiplication sign. And then we'll use the difference of 100 minus 50 and we'll make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard and then close the initial parenthesis and then we'll go for the plus sign to add the values and in the next phase we'll again use another parenthesis where we'll go for the value of E4 cell make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard and now we'll multiply it by crossing it over with the F6 value and now we'll subtract the value 
of F4, make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard and then again multiply it with its crossing value of the E6. Now we'll close the parenthesis and divide it with the value of subtraction in between F6 minus E6. So the 100 minus 50 will be the division and if we press the enter button then we'll get the score here in the H6 cell. Now let's copy it down and select the values where we want to insert the formula. Now you need to press Ctrl while selecting these values. Now if you want to insert the same formula for each and every selected cells then press Ctrl plus V in the keyboard and see all the cells have the same formula here. Now we'll go for the fulfillment. In this case, it's very much easy because all we need to do is multiplication. We have the H6, that means the ISCO column. Now we'll multiply it with the D6, that means the weightage score. Press the enter button and you've got the result here. Now you'll copy it down by pressing Ctrl plus C, then press the Ctrl in the keyboard and select the cells where you want to get the values. Now press Ctrl plus V and see you have got the perfect fulfillment scores here in the column I. Now we need to measure the weighted score of the transportation. To do that we need to sum the values of I6, I7 and I8. So we'll use the sum function and then we'll go for the values of I6 to I8 values. Press the enter button and here we have got the perfect result. After that we need to multiply it with a D5 value as it is the weightage score. So after that we need to multiply it with the value of the weighted transportation of D5. Click the enter button and here you have got the result. Now you need to do the same for the rest of the three measuring point. After the proper calculation, the weighted scores of each and every section will look like this. But now we need to get the total score. So we'll sum up all the values. So we'll go for the sum function and add all the values of the column J. Now press the enter button and you have got the perfect weighted score here in the J18 cell. So that's creating balanced scorecard for you. So that's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, Please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelimi.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this